Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back. It's Chronicle, the guy from Scronco and Carl's bedroom. I'm from Carl's bedroom. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're back with the beginner's guide. Did I mention the name of this game at the beginning of the last? I oh, probably did. Let's talk about video okay, game development this. for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. I knew that. So, in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Did not know that. I'm kidding. I sort of knew that. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. So, like all engines, one. Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain Ooh, things that it does poorly. Oh, one of oh. the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these Whoa. large, flat, empty rooms. Is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Guys, oh. It's kind of hard when I find a secret. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. Jesus, what is... You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear boxy corners. If all do I die? I want to find out, but I don't. I want to complete this. I mean, can you complete this? Wee. Falling, falling, falling. It's not flying, it's falling with style. Toy Story 1 reference. Uh, guess I jump down here. Yep. Well, that was kind of silly at well. Oh, I assume I should I should have just jumped down. Right, but fuck it. Da -da 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 -da. What is this circular thing? Is it just a light? It might be. Probably. Where am I going? What was that noise? This doesn't seem. What the f Jesus, stop! Uh, uh, what the? F Jesus, my heart is pounding, guys. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Am I going to jail? You can't go to jail. I'm really a young one. It wants me to go in there. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. I wanted it. Mind, I think we're gonna skip so that. you can, yep, yeah, got it. No, I want to go there. Oh. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it Within means reason. anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Mm. Believe me. I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. See, I'm. I'm going. I'm going to step in on that one quickly. If a game should be playable or not, it depends. Like, obviously, a game you should be able to play a game and enjoy it. I'm going to pause it. Actually, I really want to get into this. Um, whether a game should be playable or not. Okay. So, like, if you're playing Skyrim or something, like, um. You know, like a fantasy open world thing. Yeah, the game should be playable because that's what the game is about. You should. The game is about killing things, and well, I don't know. I've never actually played it. I should. Um, it's like it's like killing things, going around doing quests and stuff. But if a game is meant to make you think, like the Stanley Parable, for instance, it's meant to make you think. It is playable. Don't get me wrong. It's a playable game. But it's supposed to make you think. If a game is supposed to make you think then it doesn't have to be playable. Like, say if there was literally a game... Oh, ah, I know a game. Um, can't think of it right now. Markiplier did a video, probably loads of YouTubers did a video on it, where you're literally stuck in a room, uh, jail, and you get postcards and stuff and cake. It's not really playable, is it? You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing, I think, for about an hour. It's not a playable game. But... It's fun, it makes you think, it's, it's a sad game. And it is a game, and it 
and it's not playable, but it works. So whether a game should be playable or not really depends on what you're trying to show to the audience of the game. If you're trying to, want, if you want them to play sport, you've got to make a playable game. Rocket League, FIFA, I don't care. It should be playable. If you're trying to make them think, if you're trying to make them wonder or anything, like you're trying to make them believe the game they're playing is never going to be played by any other person in the world because it's their perception of the game, then it doesn't have to be playable. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Carry on. Um, say what you will. Uh, please put your opinions forward. I, I would like to listen. I like to read. Um, but that's just my opinion. That's what I think. And well, yeah. No, I I, I like games that make it. I saw that. I've seen that before. That's been around. Where is it? <gasps> you again. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. I'm just gonna. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. I'm gonna put something forward here. I don't think Coda's real. He might be real. Might be an actual real person, but I don't feel like he made all these games. If he did, then the, the guy has some sort of mind power that I will never have. Like, these games are making me think. Like, what makes a game a game and something? What am I here just to do? Oh, okay, I'm listening. Did you come from home? What was up there? Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's um, chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three okay. buttons on your keyboard to What respond. was up there? Yes, there's a world stamp of whiteness. There's an enormous prison I spent hours in. There was these floating colored blocks. It's a prison. That's, that's pretty interesting. That's the world, have you been there? Now, this is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. No, I don't remember. What? Is this, is this a multiple choice game? Like... It depending on this, depends on how I play. Please tell us how you solved it. It was a decision to tell us how to get to. I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I did solve it, so let's let me in. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. That one seems like the best option. But I do, we do. Do you, uh, We need to get there. Do you understand? It's the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. This is a prison? It's pretty nice. It must be an ending. I promise you, there is nothing I want more. Going on. I'm really intrigued. But how this game is gonna end? And again? Is there a puzzle you have to pass through? How did you get here? No, I've been here this entire time. I said you'd go and see the puzzle sometime. It's not meant to be solved, but you can sit in the black space in the middle. Why would I sit in black space? It's plenty peaceful. It may not seem the way for us, but you'll come to think so in time. Eventually. Oh, confused. What to do? Is this game multiple choice? Like, is this game played out depending on how I play it? Does anyone know? And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. Scary. I, I, I'm trying to think of how this game is going to end. It's impossible right now. Okay. It's a lamppost. It, it is. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange mm -hmm. and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only button. float around in that headspace for so long. Because yeah. now he wants there, something yeah? to hold on to. He wants a reference point. Probably was. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, 
with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. <laughs> oh, I'm worried. <laughs> I really don't know how this is gonna end. I really don't know where I'm going with this. It's like starting the game and then just not doing it. This game connects to the internet. As you walk around, you leave notes. Is this legit connected to the internet? Is it though? Or is it something like just. Did someone actually leave a note here? I doubt it. Nice room. Not doubt it. Can I leave a note? So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but okay. <laughs> this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written okay. by Coda. No point this was it. actually okay. the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. Oh, oh, shit. I saw him working on this very level, can you guys hear me? and no, it was just I can so read different you. from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. Seems like a nice guy. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, me I was over enthusiastic. Jesus Christ. But he was very gracious about it and Fantastic. very patient with me. To find fun. And I cooled off eventually. Bolts. <laughs> oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all grass of them. And concrete here. The Either way, to me, they convey a sense of loneliness. <laughs> I see this Fuck. person who's filled with thoughts. And so don't be afraid, do care. And beliefs, I'm just gonna keep and going. has no way to express them except as scattered yeah, and unheard voices in a game that again. wasn't meant to be played. I'm gonna show you, guarantee this is, uh, there's an acorn somewhere here in this place, and the sailors are looking for it. Who are the sailors? But it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually yeah. kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just nope. play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to, to know guy. them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much. It's because Door it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely Whoa. too. Is that some abstract art? Really confused. Oh, don't bother. This is where I get off. Nice. I failed to write anything here. Apparently not. Misery. Well, feeling a bit down as it is. <laughs> not really. 